Campo. If you're new here, please don't forget to click subscribe button and the notification bell to get new episodes. As you can see today, I'm alone and the kids are back to school. So I just dropped them off today. And Pastor Liz is not here with me because actually this is a message for her. Yes, uh, to Pastor Liz and just to appreciate her and how she's been working hard for the family and helping out and not just what she does but uh, who she is you know it's not really a birthday or an anniversary not even mother's day yet <laughs> or women's day but just a random time to appreciate her it's good to uh, you know let someone know especially the people we love uh, what they mean to us and to appreciate them when they can still hear us and many times we wish we did this uh, woulda, coulda, shoulda or when you know we're seeing them off already so it's good to appreciate so that's what I'm doing now <laughs> voicing it out um, actually uh, I'm learning to do these things uh, now we're in the eighth year of marriage my personality you know I'm an introvert i think <laughs> some say i'm an extrovert but especially with these things of pda public display of affection uh, i really am a private person but uh, it's good uh, you know when to when you're appreciating someone to appreciate them publicly and maybe the other things like correction to be done privately so i'm learning uh, though we've been in marriage for eight years uh, i can also say that this is out of the marriage seminar that we attended <laughs> so it's good to attend those things seminars workshops uh, learnings where you can learn more about your relationship although you already know a lot but it's good to be reminded sometimes or to listen uh, from other people's experiences to build that relationship so that's what i'm doing now appreciating pastor liz uh, you know, and my wife being the mother of all our four children, giving, delivering them uh, and just raising them up and also a partner in the ministry and also, as you can see, a content creator on YouTube and other social media. So just to appreciate her, uh, I also wrote her, a, I wouldn't call it a poem, <laughs> I wrote her. Uh, a love letter maybe we can call it a love letter and uh, posted it on Facebook and I'd like to read that out right now so babe this is for you <laughs> let me read it babe come close come near let me whisper in your ear close enough for me and you to share the same air that we breathe how lovely are you my darling babe I can climb on rooftops to shout out to the whole wild world how wonderful you are and that you're my one and only love. No one can ever compare. Yes, this might be a marriage seminar high, but it is a good effect of appreciating one's life and the people that you have when they can still hear you. So babe, when you read or hear this or watch this, I just want you to know that my heart beats only for you. That's true. Though we walk down the aisle in an arranged marriage, in obedience, if I were to choose today, I still would only ever choose you to be my wife, my life partner, my best friend, and the mother of our children. I've been to many countries, been to many places, and met a lot of great people, but I can say without a shadow of a doubt that you're truly the only one for me. You're a walking display of beauty, inside and out. The room lights up when you enter. Every attention is captivated and heads turn right away. From your head to your feet, elegance and beauty ooze i rejoice in the way god fashioned you and your care which you manicure his creation is admirable your eyes sparkle as the dew of the morning with the chastity of a maiden your gentle touch is paralyzing 
You are a woman in every way. Your gait and turn are desirable. Your neck is as the Tower of David, magnificent and praiseworthy. Your stature is comely. Down your chin is the way to rejoicing and pleasure. I knew I struck gold when I married you. Your nose is the mark of perfection. What riches I would have spent to have you the pride of Africa in my life. I guess that is why it took the hand of God himself to lead you to me, as I could never have, on my own effort, have won you. A princess of Toro Kingdom royal blood to myself. Your looks and physical form are already heart blowing, heart shattering. But like the showers of heaven, the abundance of goodness has just continued to bless me through your intangible beauty. Your passion for the Lord and your passion for the Lord's work is just unshakable, consistent, and enduring. The energy you emit lights up all the surroundings and it burns white hot. You hold nothing back and you accomplish it all like a wonder woman. And indeed, you are a woman of wonder. Caring for our four children, dressing them, cooking, bathing, hair setting, and everything else in between. Yet, you still show up for ministry, even though caring for the kids is already a full-time job. You give your all to serve the Lord, and then some, expanding in global platforms to reach countless people. All these leave thousands of people in your wake positively impacted, beginning with our four children, and of course, with me, your one and only. Now, these words are just sticks and stones, tools that I employ to attempt to convey the indescribable gratitude and adoration that I have for the Lord since He blessed you with me. I love you, my forever love. It's a joy to soak in your company. I love you, babe. That's the end of that write-up. And I really just mean every word that I've said. And I appreciate you for being who you are and what you've done and um, for understanding me <laughs> as well as um, just not giving up uh, through the thick and thin when you almost lost your lives four times uh, bringing, up, bringing to life, to bring to the world our children and just through the ups and downs that every marriage and every life has uh, you have not given up and you are just still continuing and pushing us to go and to deliver and to conquer the world for the Lord in, his, in the field and even in the family life and even in our marriage. So I just appreciate you. You're the best thing that ever happened to me, of course, after the Lord. And I love you from the bottom of my heart. And when you watch this, I... I hope that you know that I, I mean every word. I love you so much, babe. God bless you. So that is my uh, appreciation for my wife. I've not done anything like this <laughs> in my life, but I'm proud. I'm proud to appreciate her. Uh, and let's appreciate our wives, um, the women in our lives, our mothers, our sisters, and not just the women, even the men, our spouses, our husbands, our brothers. Let's appreciate those that are around us when they can still hear it. Because the words, you know, death and life are in the power of the tongue. We know that verse. And also words, uh, are, they are spirit in their life. So let's try to limit the words that break down, that criticize. Sometimes it's needed, but constructive criticism or uh, areas for improvement. But let's appreciate more encourage more and tell the people with that we love that we love them
that's it for now. God bless you.